Mike DeRow at Quail Creek Country Club. Today we are going to talk about a power fade, how to do it, what it's all about versus a hook and because slices are not good but fades can be the best most playable shot in golf. There's actually a great saying, I think it was Lee Trevino said, you can talk to those fades but those hooks don't listen. So a very playable shot, a fade. Okay, what is a fade? A fade is when your club face hits the ball and it's open to your target line so the ball will roll off the face. It actually loses energy rolling off the face, giving it side spin. A lot of people go, how come my ball goes straight for a while and then spins? Well, when your initial velocity goes out, then the side spin takes over. So a lot of times the ball will travel 100 yards straight and then woo, it'll take off with the side spin. Okay, fades are good as long as they move back towards the target. So if they start a little left and come back to the target, that's good. The words you don't want, players will call it a wipe. That's when they spin so far out in front that they hit it with a really open face and it loses all its energy and goes way right. Or a cut slice, you don't want those kind of phrases. But a fade, a power fade even, is wonderful. Okay, the steps to a power fade are, we're going to go over this, but they are First, you've got to load, you've got to get your upper body behind the ball. Jack Nicholas said getting it deep. Okay, a great drill for getting it deep. So step one to hitting a power fade is to get some power wind up. Put your thumb on your chest and just move your elbow way over to a wall. Imagine a wall right here and I move my elbow over to the wall. A great drill, by the way, get a wall. Because we can't have any shifting or swaying in our hip. Watch what my elbow does if I sway. It doesn't come near the wall, even no matter how hard I try to turn. But if you load deep, and usually that means getting your right hip and right shoulder out of the way. That's why the phrase is deep, because it's how far your shoulder moves away from that line. So get deep. So step one, we're gonna get deep. Actually, step one, you can't hit a good fade, power fade, if you don't have a, a good grip. So the X is my heel pad. The club is supposed to go across your palm like that so you can grab it stronger. If you notice my finger, I uh, got some stitches in it, but we're doing this fade without my finger. Okay, so we got to load deep. And the second stage we got to do, we have to clear with a good pivot. So the phrase about pivots is in hitting a fade is you're supposed to show both back pockets at impact. So when I get to the ball, you should see both back pockets. If you're hitting the ball and you're not using your legs, you might be spinning your shoulders, but you're not using your legs and it will not be a power fade. So faders want to have a good turn of the back, lead with the legs, lead with the legs, lead with the legs, get to impact. When you get to impact, the club should just barely be getting to square. In fact, that's your phrase should be you clear the legs and the club just barely gets to square. So it goes straight or a little fade every time. That thing you can count on every time. A draw is a great example of what a release is. If I get to this, ball, this line and my hands release, that's a draw. So whenever I let the club release, that's going to draw. When I hit it straight, the club should catch up just like that. Boom, dead straight. A fade would be clear the legs and hips a little bit and you're going to get their handle first you can see the face is open there so you're going to try to get handle first okay very important and the way to get the handle there is to use the legs so the legs get the handle there first so when you hit a fade you're going to get to this impact zone and your chest it might be a little in front your hips going to be about 30 40 degrees 45 degrees in front okay so you got to get deep get in front of. Your hands will be in front. Okay, we're going to hit a couple shots. I do want to show you this. It's a bucket of water. Okay, so a draw. Watch where the water goes on this. I am going to let my arms release and you'll see the water go left. So this would be a draw. So I go back and I come through and you can see the water went left. And when I hit a fade, I'm going to be pulling my hands a little more so the water will spill out of the bucket to the right. So I go back and I come through with my hips and the water goes out to the right. Okay? Love that. Okay. So with the fade, you do have to aim a little left. 
because you're expecting it to carve back to the right. A great phrase is it falls off the table to the right. Okay, so I set up. I'm going to open up my stance and shoulders a little bit. Your watch out is don't let your shoulders get too open. If your shoulders get way left, two things will happen. You won't be able to get as deep and you'll spin faster and you'll hit a weak fade. So you want your shoulders just a little bit open. Then you're going to get deep. And then you're going to clear your legs. Here they come. Legs, legs, legs. Handle going to beat the club face. So legs are pulling, knees, hips, legs, feet pulling. Faders, when they hit the ball, generally are up on their, their heels off the ground. If you hit a ball and your heel's still on the ground, you're not hitting it. You're not using your legs. So here's my shot. Aim a little left. Get it back deep. And leg first. On your finish on a good fade. You will be leading your legs. A lot of times your club will finish straight up. Good faders sometimes will have the club aiming that way because if the club releases over there, that's a draw. Look at my forearms. So a good fade will be clear and the club will go more up. So on your follow through, you'll feel that more than any kind of fling like that. That's a draw release. Okay, so the power fade is a beautiful swing. You can count on it. Just make sure that you don't spin your shoulders or you'll wipe a ball and you'll get a weak fade. So get deep and rip that fade. You can count on it.